Yeah. And he calls them all both small and great, rich and poor, free and born, right. to receive a mark in their right hand, right. on their forehead. Right, to receive it. So on their, you read that verse again. And he calls them all both small and great, rich and poor, free and born, to receive a mark in their right hand. Right, so that's the fulfillment of, the, of that prophecy. So that's the coming effect going. Or in their forehead. Yep. And that no man might buy or sell. Yep. Save he that had the mark. Uh -huh. Or the name of the beast. Or the number of his name. And the number of his name. Right. So the number of his name. Keep going. Here is wisdom. That he, let him that have understanding count the number of the beast. For it is the number of a man. Yep. And his number is 600. Three score and six. That's it right there. So, my bad, my bad. So, when you look at the barcode, not the bucket, yeah, right? If you look at all of the items that you buy, right? That's like a barcode on it. And the barcode is, is basically, okay, if you don't see any numbers on that, on that particular, those particular two lines, there's three two lines, right, that stick out. Okay? Now, the, um, the, code, the code numbers for that is basically, the, um, is basically 666. Barcode. Right. So that's also going to be wrapped inside the chip as, as well. You're going to have a barcode within the chip too. Now, another thing that I want to elaborate on as well is, is that basically what's going to go down is um, what they can do with the microchip as well. Let's say, for example, you're, 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 you have an assembly or you're protesting or whatever. They can, they, they can, chip, they can shut the chip up. They can just shut it off, and now you won't be able to get access to food, sorry, medication. All of the things that society provides for civilians, you won't be able to get it. Just to cut, just to make a, a long story short, pretty much. All right? That's going to shut, that's going to shut the whole um, idea of being free, um, human rights, which was established by, what, 1998, the Human Rights Law Act. That's going to be done away with. And people are just going to be robots and just to be ultimate slaves for the new world order system. Okay? So that's going to be the thing right there. Go on, bro. It's, I think I said on the universe. I'll tell you what, so I want you, what I want you to do is read that same verse, not the verse, the same chapter, right? And um, read the whole entire thing. Because there's a, there's a lot of stuff in it. The whole chapter? Yeah, the whole chapter. Revelation 13, verse 1. When I stood upon the sand of the sea, yep. so a beast rise up out of the sea, yep. having seven heads and ten horns. Yep. And upon his horns, ten crowns. Yep. And upon his heads, the name of blasphemy. Right, and upon. Read that again, I want to And I stood upon the sand of the sea, so a beast rise up out of the sea. Having seven heads and ten horns, right. and upon his horns, ten crowns. Right, which is talking about the different eating common markets. That's what that's going into. So pretty much, um, we don't have the, we don't really have the sign right now because it's raining and we don't really, we don't really want to bring it out right now. But what makes it the EU is what all of these. Now back in, I believe it was the fifties, right? Now back in the fifties. And in the 60s, you only had 10 EU nations that made up the EU, okay, or, or NATO, for example. Now, the 10, the 10 common markets is referring to um, Great Britain, Spain, France, Portugal, okay, and Portugal, uh, Portugal. Yeah, right, right. I stand correct. Right. Greece. Greece. Right, you had Greece. What else? Germania Minor, Germania Major. You know, it's, it's, it's Spain, France, Greece, Rome, Britain, Germania Minor, Germania Major. Right, so those are the ten common markets. Seven, seven, seven that's the seven heads. Right. And the ten horns. Seven heads, that's, that's the provinces that comprise ancient Rome. And the ten horns that come out of that is the revived Rome. Right. Which is EU today. It was no, it was the ten, it was ten EU nations. Yeah. But now it's it's, current, it's more than that it's now. More, yeah. Seven, more, yeah. I think they doubled, like more than doubled, yeah. Yeah. So the original ten is what the what the brother expounded on. Okay, because you that's this is referring to the revival of ancient Rome. This particular scripture here called. Yes. 
said, and the beast which I saw was like unto a leopard, and his feet were as the feet of a bear, right. and his mouth as the mouth of a lion. Right. And the dragon gave him his power, and his seat and great authority. I'd say, well, read that again. Read that. Read that. And, and the beast which I saw was like unto a leopard, right. and his feet were as the feet of a yeah, bear. Yes, so it says the first beast was like unto a leopard, because the first society of Esau was the ancient, was the ancient Greeks, the ancient pagan empire, which was the Greeks. Okay, so that so that's the leopard. That's that's what the leopards refer to. Okay, because when um when um when Alexander the Cupid was on the scene, he even had a, a, a leopard hat on. All right, so that's showing you right there. And even the um the animal mystic symbol. Go on. Bro. And his mouth was the mouth of a lion, yep. and the dragon gave him his power and his seat and great authority. Right, and the mouth was of the lion, which the, which the lion represents Britain. Okay, which the lion, they, they, got, they, got, back, they got back from us, really. So um, at one time, Jake used to rule in Great Britain. Okay, because in order for you to be a ruler of uh, England, or a king, you have to come from the line of Judah, the tribe of Judah. See that? But that's Great Britain, because whatever Britain speaks, that's what goes. So that's it. And I saw one of his heads as it were wounded to death. Right. And his deadly wound was healed, and all the world wandered after the beast. Right. And they worshipped the dragon which gave power unto the beast. And they worshipped the beast, saying, You is like unto the beast. Go up a couple of verses where it speaks about the last of them, like the leopard there or something like that. You still want to take 12? His feet were as the feet, right. as the feet of a bear. Right, his feet was as the feet of a bear. Why? Because. The bear represents the Russians. Okay? Because the Russians, they're going to be destroying this society pretty much. They're going to go to war with America and all of its allies. So basically, the Russians are the end of this world, the end of this world of ancient Rome, pretty much. And his mouth was the mouth of a lion, and the dragon gave him his power and seat and great authority. Right. And I saw one of his heads as they were wounded to death. Right. And his deadly wounds was healed. And his deadly wounds were healed. That was talking about the resurrection of the revival of ancient Rome. The Renaissance era. Where did, how did Rome come back into its existence? Okay, all you gotta do is research the Renaissance period. The Renaissance era just elaborates on that, what I'm saying. Alright? That's, that's pretty much self-explained in that scripture there. When you do some research on the, the Renaissance era. Go on. And all the world wandered after the beast, and they worshipped the dragon, right. which gave power unto the beast. Right. And they worshipped the beast, saying, Who is like unto the beast, who is able to make war with him? And that's what people do today. All of the other nations, right? They all inspire to be like the so-called white man. Right? Back then, I mean more so back then, but nowadays people are kind of waking up to who this man is. Okay, but back in the back couple of years ago, 20, 30 years ago, everybody didn't want to be, everybody wanted to be like Esau. Wear the suit and tie, and this and that, and the third, etc. etc. Okay, speak his language, go to his schools, okay, take on his technology, all of that. Go on. And there was given unto him a mouth speaking great things, yep. and blasphemies, and power was given unto him. And him speaking great things was his technology, which you can get that in, um, I believe it's Daniels. Daniels. Oh. And power was given unto him to continue forty and two months. And he opened his mouth and blasphemy against the Most High, to blaspheme his name, and his tabernacle, and them that dwell in heaven. And it was given unto him. Right, he got naked angels, and Every prophet of God is white. You know, um, Roman Catholic Church, they use the word of God and then while they're using the word of God they're molesting children. All these different things. And then even the pastor does it too. Which, which really the pastors, the Christian pastors, they're offshoots of the Roman Catholic institution. Boy. They said, and he opened his mouth in blasphemy against the Most High mm -hmm. to blaspheme his name yep. and his tabernacle and them that dwell in heaven. Yep. And it was given unto him to make war with the saints yep. and to overcome them. 
and power was given given him over all kindreds and tongues and nation and all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him whose names are not written in the book of life of the Lamb slain in the foundation of the world. That's right. So whoso doesn't acknowledge the word of Yahweh Shai, they're going to worship his beast all the way up till until they be put to death. It tells you that in Revelation 14, all right, if you Matter of fact, can you just jump to it, Baba Kusha? Because I'm going to misquote it. I know I'm going to 14 verse 1. Yeah, 14 verse 9. Verse 9, and the third angel fronted them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast yep. and his image and receive his mark in his forehead yep. or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the Mosai, right. which is poured out with that mixture right. into the cup of his indignation. Right, that corresponds with following after the beast. Those that slain those that were not written in the book of life they conspired and um took on the philosophy not conspired but they took on the philosophy of the beast okay and by it they were slain that's them being slain right there that's why they were slain okay why because they received the microchip the microchip is the main prophecy okay the last couple of prophecies so like i so like i, I like to reinstate again prophecy of the mark of the beast that was the prophecy that we was bringing out man no other cat was bringing this out heavy like it was it was all gms all along starting with the apostle to heart the apostle the bar ramla all right apostle recall all of the apostles they were the first to bring it out back in 2007 and guess what we, we're now bringing it out throughout the years brothers have been bringing it out okay now guess what everybody's talking about the microchip now okay uh, there's a brother that said uh, he came in in 2003 and he said even then they were talking about it. Yeah. That's yeah. 2003. Yeah, so there you go. What is IUSC going to do? <laughs> that's a good question, it's man. True. What are they going to do? Because Apostle Ha said this, yeah, when the Mark of Beast comes here, that's when uh, IUSC is going to be broken up, man. Because mm. that Mark of the Beast thing is, is, that's what uh, he believes, that's, the, that's what's really going to put pressure on that IUSC, man. Because those guys have made bare videos, man, fully coming against that, this, the idea of the microchip being the mark of the beast. And they say it's going to be an embargo. That's ridiculous, yeah. man. That's ridiculous. That's why his videos are getting thousands, in two days, getting thousands of views already, man. Because even them, they're watching those videos already, man. Huh? Because it's a, it's, it's a, it's a, like, that's why it's just a few days, his videos are getting like thousands of views. Hmm. Apostles, yeah, yeah, videos, yeah, yeah. yeah, the mark of the beast. Because they know Papa is the one that brings it out, man. It comes from him. Came, came out for us, man, because we're the main ones pushing them. That's right. So, I mean, that's just the whole thing. So, and I mean, like, you know, like, like how you have the same going, right? I hate to tell you so, no, we love to tell you so. We were the main guys that brought this out, and we told you so. Okay? Go on. The same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the Mosai, mm. which is poured out without mixture yeah, into the cup of his indignation, right? And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone. In the presence of the holy angels yep. and in the presence of the Lamb. Oh, right, and in the presence of the Lamb. Because they subscribe to the mark of the beast. They subscribe to the mark of the beast. Which the mark of the beast comes out of um, the womb of the beast. Which the beast is what EU. NATO comes uh, together. All in conjunction. Which represents the revival of ancient Rome. So when you subscribe to ancient Rome, you're subscribing to the devil. Man. Okay? If you've made a covenant with death, that's just the deal, that's just the deal on that. You know what, bro? You don't even gotta beat it. I'm gonna see. It's seven thirty. We can go for another forty-five minutes or so. You have to finish your book. You sure? If you, if you got something to say? You can bring it. You sure? Yeah, yeah, cool. Man. Okay. That's it, so we're going to go back to the Revelation 13. Yeah, 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 we don't think about it. Back in Revelation 13, verse 9, though. If any man have an ear, let him hear. Yeah, he that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. Right. And he that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Right, and that's, that's the judgment of the Edomites. Because the Edomites enslaved the nation of people. And it's not just the Edomites, you got to think about all of the other nations that had a hand in enslaving our people. 
they're gonna go into slavery too. That means that the people of Saddam, which were the ancient Egyptians, that's also talking about the Persians, the Arabs, that's also talking about well, the really Ishmael. Um, the Elamites, because they were um, they were ruling over us along with the uh, what is it? What's those people called? The Aborigines, which the Aborigines um, are Jephthah. Jephites. So all of those people that had Israel in the vision at one time or another, hey man, check this out. They're all going into slavery. The different Hermetic nations, the Philistines, the Egyptians, okay, the Canaanites. All of these other peoples outside of Israel, they're all going to be enslaved under the Israelites. Man. And we're going to root in righteousness. Go on. And that beheld another beast coming up out of the earth. And he had two horns like a lamb, and he spake as a dragon. And he spake as a dragon. And he exercised it all the power of the first beast. Right, he exercises the power of the first beast. The first beast is we're talking about the ancient Roman Empire. Okay? That's what that's talking about. Because the way the ancient Romans ruled is the same way they're ruling now. They had the Senate back then. Okay? They had the, um, the, the plebeians and you also had the patricians. It's like how right now you got the, um, you got, you got two parties in America called the, um, I forgot what it's called, you know. Uh, Right, uh, what it's called. Because I haven't been there in years. Let me see. Just to track my memory. You should know this. You should know this. Right, the Democrats and the Republicans. So you even so even even still to this very moment, because even though America is Babylon the Great, well, America is Rome. Uh, 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 America um, is right along with this revival of ancient Rome. Okay, it's back in ancient Rome. You got the Plebeians and you got the, um, the what is it, the Patricians. You got two parties, just like how in America you got the Democratic Party and the Republican Party, and many other parties as well. And he exercised all the power of the first beast right. before him, and because of the earth, and them would go there to worship the first beast, who fed the moon was killed. Right. So that's showing me right there that they're taking, that they're taking on board you know, the same sort of things of ancient Rome. All right, and even. When you read, when you read, I believe it's in, in the Apocrypha, which it is in the Apocrypha, but I forgot where, I think it's in Macrobus, right? And it shows you how they were ruling in terms of their government. Like you have one guy king in the office, and he ruled for a space of time, one guy ruled for another space of time. And that's what they're doing right now, so they're taking on the same customs that ancient Rome taking. It's the same setup. Okay. You're going. That's it. And he doeth great wonders, so that he make a fire come down from heaven yeah. on the earth in the sight of men, uh -huh. and deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles right. which he have power to do in the sight of the beast. Right, and that's talking about the Germans, the Timonites. They were the ones that came up with this, um, this idea of making an atomic bomb. Okay? And that atomic bomb, um, you know, during the time of, uh, what is it, Hiroshima Nagasaki, they dropped that atomic bomb and it dissolved the whole entire city. Okay, and that, that particular, um, that particular um, point, that particular thing that happened, it made people aware of the power of Esau from then. Received it from that point on, you see. So, so keep going with that. She had power to do in the sight of the beast. Yep. Saying to them that dwell on the earth, that they should make an image to the beast which had the room by a sword and did live. Yeah. Uh, I should read that again one more time. 
verse 14, and deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles. Right, and deceive them that dwell on the earth by those miracles, by that power that they have. Okay. Why go on? Which he had power to do in the sight of the beast, hmm. saying to them that dwell on the earth, yep. that they should make an image to the beast, uh -huh. which had the wound by a sword and did live. The image of the ancient Roman Empire. That's what this society is all about. That's what this system is all about. That's how you deceive them. Okay. About making that image. And that's just the thing. So, you know, the main, <laughs> the main thing to focus on is the, the way the, that's why they say, right? That's why the saying goes, you have a saying where you do what the Romans do, something like that. Do what the Romans do, because that saying really, I mean, and it, and, it, and it really applies today. Even though this is not actually called the ancient Roman Empire, but by the spirit it is, because when you actually research this empire and what was done back then, it's the same. This society is doing the same thing. Like back in the day, you had um, uh, Pompeii which Pompeii was, was an area where people got together, had sex with animals, committing sodomy and all that. Okay, and they're doing that right now. They that call, call not. That's that why. Why not go? There you go. Rioting, excess, um, excess of wine, eyes full of adultery, same wine, the same wine as back then is going, is going on now. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's how the people have been, the equality, man, we're all Roman, you know? That was never a philosophy, that's a philosophy of Eastern, man. That's never a philosophy of the different nations, man. You know, that, 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 that bitch came up with her, her, her weird boyfriend, talking about equality and love and shit, man. That's the Rome. That's that Roman way, man, that's that, you know, do, do, do as thou wilt, that, that, that free spirit, man, that love, man. Right. That's what she's talking about. If it feels nice, do it. That's right. That's that wine, that's that Rome, that's how, that's how Esau deceived the people by bringing out the body. That's right. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image to the beast, yep. which had the wound by a sword and did live. Uh -huh. And you have power to give life unto the image of the beast. The image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast right. should be killed. Right, shall be killed. And the way to worship the image of the beast is to, to um, take part in being microship. That's going to be the end result, the end deal. It's being shipped. So if you don't subscribe to the mark of the beast, then they could either behead you, they might hash you a little bit, or whatever, but they'll, sus they'll suspect that you're a terrorist. And what do they do? And what, and what do the police or the branches of government do to terrorists? They expel them. They kill them. Okay, that's what they that's what they did. So that's it right there. And that's where Revelation the 20th chapter comes in. One more verse, bro. Um, and he calls of all, both small and great, yep. rich and poor, free and bond. We don't have to go there again. Get Revelation 20, verse 1 to 2. Sure. Revelation chapter 20 verse 1 And I saw an angel come down from heaven Having the key of the bottomless pit And a great chain in his hand And he laid a hold on the dragon That old serpent Which is the devil and Satan And bound him a thousand years and bound him a thousand years That's talking about how we had The Edomites and slavery um, In Europe Okay from what? From 325 AD Okay, which was the initial uh, rulership of our people. Okay, start with the Nicene Council and then and beyond. All right, and then around, what is it? The 13, 1400s, we started kind of dwelling down on the power. Okay, and then Esau came into existence. You see, so that was that first thousand years. We've gone. It says, all. Oh, and cast him into the bottomless pit and shut him up. And set his seal upon him yeah. that he should deceive the nations no more yeah, go on. till the thousand years should be fulfilled. Right. And after that, he must be loosed a little season. He shall be loosed a little season. So we're in this little, we're in this little season right now. We're in the so-called white man's little season. Okay, because when really did Esau establish his society? 
going all the way back to what? Main 1776. When the Illuminati brothers established themselves, that was really the height. That was really the beginning of America and this revival of ancient Rome. Okay, because prior to the 1600s, so like here, prior to the um, 1700s, the economy was just shit in America. Okay, there was no economy. There was just, it was just, it was just a lot of a lot of mess going on. Okay, they had to work their way up. They really got to the height of you know in terms of their government in 1776, which was what 200 and what. 41 years ago, personally, all right? And within those 240 plus years, they've been going at war, okay? Just like ancient Rome, it's the same empire, it's the same ship. Just like ancient Rome, they went to war with, um, what's it, brother, the, um, you know the, um, what's it called? You know the black Jesus they went to war against? The Catholic, the Catholic, the Virginians or something like that? Caught, caught, yeah, the people caught, the Han Hannibal's people. Yeah, you would collaborate on that. Um, but Rome went to war with them. But there was other nations too that they went to war against too. I had to slip a fork without a bus or something like that. But you know what though, I mean, we just, we just, we just bringing out the scriptures and, you know, bring it, we just bringing out the scriptures, man, that's all it is, but when you do with ancient Rome, ancient Rome, had many wars, man. Wars the law. They went to war with, with, with even the Jews at one time, right? They went to war with the, you know, the Carthaginian people and other peoples they went to war with. It's the same thing with the American system. So every time Esau comes into power, there's always a way of, there's always some sort of war happening. It's always the case. They go warring against the different Germanic tribes. Come on, come on, come on. Them, um, basically, them Jaffats. Jaffats were ruled in Europe. Before Esau got up in there, Esau pushed them out. And then that's when he expanded his empire. When you watch that movie on um, Gladi, um, starring Russell Crowe, showing the beginning of that movie how um, Rome was basically battling against the Germanic tribes. But he showed them Germanic tribes as, as, as white people, as Edomites. They weren't Edomites. They were, they were, they were Jaffites, man. Different Jaffite tribes, man. Okay? Alright? So, so Esau was expanding his, 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 his empire, so to speak, okay? It's called an imperialism, I think it's called. He's expanding his, his empire. I tell you that in the beginning of the movie. Show you that how, um, what's his name? His name was called um, uh, 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 Marcus Aurelius. He, he told, um, he was speaking to um, Russell Crowe, Cro Glad, um, you know, what's his name? Uh, uh, Maximus, he never existed. But, um, Marcus Aurelius is basically saying, um, I, I've expanded, I've expanded and conquered and I've ruled with the sword basically. If you watch the movie, in the first part of the movie, you're saying that. So yeah, Rome had a lot of wars to expand their, 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 you know, their empire. Man. And just like the ancient Greeks, the ancient Greeks went through the same shit. They went to war with other peoples. Okay. But we're not gonna go into Greek stuff. That's a whole that's a whole nother. I mean the, the, the Greco the Greco Empire for them. The Greece Empire. They're going. They say And I saw thrones and they that sat upon them, and judgment was given unto them, and I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Yahweh Shai. And there it is right there. And for the word of the Most High, and which had not worshipped the beast, neither his image neither have received his mark upon their foreheads or in their hands and they lived and reigned for Mashiach a thousand years. That's right. So the reason why they got beheaded is because they didn't subscribe to the image of the beast. So it's those that, those who not subscribe to the image of the beast, it was as if they were killed. It tells you that in Revelation 13 and I believe it was 17, right? So that's just the whole, whole deal right there. But if we got to go that route, then we got to go that route, baby. You know?